Hey everybody, um, so this is part three of my under the counter special. Um, again, I know it's a little late, not as late as the last video though. Um, it is like 9.08 again, it's late in the evening, seems to be when I seem to want to organize. I don't know why. But yeah, anyway, today is Tupperware day. Um, I'm also going to show you my second drawer. If you recall, we only have two drawers. Showed you the first one during the Pots and Pans special. I'll show you our silverware one that has my favorite must-have kitchen thing in it. Uh, my silverware drawer is my favorite drawer, I think, so far. And then I'll show you how bad Tupperware is, then I'll organize it and show you that as well. So, yeah. So I'm just going to turn you around. and You're just going to chomp over here, microwave. This is a silverware door. Yes, it's a little squeaky. Now we got this. This this bamboo organizer from I actually don't remember where it is, what it's called. Um, but it was a gift card that we got for our wedding and I saw this and fell in love with it. Because these these panels here, if you'll notice, they are adjustable. So if this drawer was wider or narrower, I think it goes narrow as this here. Which is wonderful. So we got our forks, we got our different size spoons, our little, you know those little odd men spoons and forks, the desserts ones. We got all our, this is kind of like our random section. We got our, our can opener, ice cream scoop, blender, and this is our knives section. So yeah, this is my favorite thing in the kitchen, like favorite, favorite thing. So yeah. So we're going to close that and we're going to come down here to this uh, terrifying area. I don't know how bright it is, um, if you can see that or not, but it is horribly, horribly disorganized. Oh, Bob's coming again, see? Bob. Yes, he always likes me. He likes exploring. Anyway, but yeah, this is a horribly, like, I mean, we've got things in here that just, we have no other place for at the moment. Like, we've got our, um, 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 um tongs for barbecuing in here, as well as we got a brush in here somewhere. Just gotta scoop Bob out of the way. Now I've tried, I've tried various things to organize this. I have tried putting Tupperware inside Tupperware. I have tried separating glass and lids, and I, I have tried so many methods. So I have a new idea that prayerfully will work. I don't know how well it'll work, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, uh, depending on how long it takes, I'll see you in a few. Hey everybody, um, so this is part two of the Tupperware Under the Cupboard special. Um, it took me eh, maybe 20 minutes, again, half hour. Um, mostly again, just messing around, trying to figure out what best works for this system. Um, I'm not sure if the system's the best I've come up with, um, but from the look of it so far, it seems to be pretty good. So I will show you what I did. Let's turn it around here. And this is my new organized cupboard. Now, I really wish I had one of those things where you could just pull out. That way you can look down, see everything, but I don't have that luxury. It's now I'm on an extremely tight budget. So, yes. So, the first thing I want to show you is this. This is a tension rod. Now, my cupboard's actually not long enough to hold the tension rod completely straight. So, I don't know if you can see in there, but it's actually on an angle. You may be able to tell if I do this. You tell it's on an angle. So what I do is I put it on an angle on the top shelf, because that's where I keep all, I'm keeping all my plastic ones. I have all the lids for all my plastic containers lined up here. Now you can't exactly see, but if you follow the general theme of things, the itty bitty ones, smaller containers, just gets bigger as it goes back. Um, if you look up, you can see there's a little space right here that uh, enables me to put that like that. So then what I did was I had all my plastic ones up here. Plastic ones are the ones I regularly use. And I usually only use the small ones. Um, these lids here, because they're kind of a thicker lid, didn't fit in there. So I actually just plunked them into another Tupperware and kind of keep them near with the containers next to them. But yeah, we have a lot of glass ones. We have a lot of really big glass Tupperware. So I don't know if you'd call them like casserole dishes or whatnot, but they don't have any of a place to go. So what I did, and it's not a very good fix, but it's a fix, 
is I put all the lids for most of the lids anyway the glass container is vertical I'd love to be able to get something that will hold them there um, so if any suggestions feel free to suggest but uh, for now they're being held up by other Tupperware so I've got the ones we use mostly up front um, and I've stacked them and uh, there's a little bit of space back there I don't know if you can really see it a little bit of a space right back here um, we got a stack of round ones we really need to purge our Tupperware but since sometimes we'll make really really big batches of casseroles we need something to put them in and before we were putting them in these glass containers where now we're putting them in these little tiny tinfoil ones so yeah, there's someone we've got to go in storage or i've just got to put up with them as is but either way that's my tupperware cupboard and that concludes our under the special our under the counter special um for three days i hope you enjoyed it and prayerfully next time i'll have something else new Thanks. Bye.